हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नस्ट इक्वेशन एन ई आर एन एस टी नस्ट इक्वेशन दिस इज ए वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वंस इफ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नस्ट इक्वेशन देन इट विल वेरी इजी फॉर यू पीपल टू सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल्स नस्ट इक्वेशन बट बिफोर नर्स इक्वेशन आई वॉन्ट टू क्लियर सम कंसेप्ट बेसिक कंसेप्ट आफ्टर दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड नास्ट इक्वेशन हेयर फर्स्ट टू फर्स्ट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द हाफ सेल रिएक्शन हाफ सेल रिएक्शन एक्चुअली यू आर नाउ नाउ यू आर नोइंग हाउ टू रिप्रजेंट द इलेक्ट्रोड एंड हाउ टू रिप्रजेंट द सेल नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सेल रिएक्शन सेल रिएक्शन हेट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस रिलेशन ऑल्सो यू हैव टू नो देन हेयर फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सेल रिएक्शन एंड वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इन सेल रिएक्शन एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन्स हाउ यू आर गेटिंग केमिकल एनर्जी सेल सप्लाइज केमिकल एनर्जी देन हाउ यू आर गेटिंग दिस एनर्जी दैट आई विल टेल यू फ्रॉम द रिएक्शन यू आर गेटिंग एनर्जी हाउ देन फॉर दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड बाय वन एग्जाम्पल सपोज यू हैव टेकन कॉपर इन कॉपर सल्फेट सोल्यूशन एंड जेड एन इन जेड एन एसो फोर सोल्यूशन देन इफ यू विल इंट्रोड्यूस कॉपर इन कॉपर सल्फेट देन नो रिएक्शन देर विल बी नो रिएक्शन कॉपर प्लस कॉपर सल्फेट वॉट रिएक्शन विल टेक प्लेस नो रिएक्शन सिमिलरली जेड एन जेड एन इफ यूल डीप इन द जेड एन एसो फोर देन जेड एन प्लस जेड एन एसो फोर नो रिएक्शन बट इफ यू विल टेक जेड एन इन कॉपर सल्फेट इफ यू विल टेक इफ यूल इंट्रोड्यूस जेड एन रॉड इन कॉपर सल्फेट देन रिएक्शन विल take place zn plus copper sulfate it will form znso4 plus copper this reaction will take place if you have, if you take zn in znso4 copper in copper sulfate no reaction but if you will take zn into copper sulfate solution zn rod you have dipped in copper sulfate solution then uh, reaction will take place zn plus copper sulfate it will form znso4 plus copper then here you will get the uh, this things uh, product uh, reaction will take place and you will get the product znso4 plus copper then now uh, if you will you can say Uh, take the temperature suppose this experiment that you have done at room temperature means in lab temperature ordinary temperature room temperature lab temperature then if you will touch the beaker now after uh, dipping zn in copper sulfate solution if you will touch the this uh, um, beaker then now you will find that uh, temperature is rising temperature has increased okay temperature has increased 
means along with the product the heat also it is producing when you have not added zna super was separate copper sulfate was separate then uh, copper sulfate solution was uh, just at room temperature 25 degree centigrade zn also 25 degree but if you will introduce zn rod in copper sulfate then along with the product along with the zn so4 plus copper one more things you will find that temperature of the uh, this beaker has increased temperature of the solution has increased means exothermic reaction okay it is that it is it is uh, uh, giving heat it is releasing heat correct it is evolving heat means uh, it is exothermic reaction now this i told you in a general way this happens but if you will make the cell means zn in zn so4 copper in copper sulfate and uh, you have just connected both uh, electrode with uh, one wire conducting wire maybe of you can say copper or silver wire you have connected via voltmeter or ammeter any one and uh, now you will find after connecting the wire all connection if you do then now what you will observe Even even if you are, ah, uh, uh, suppose you salt bridge also you have added. Okay, if you will same solution you will take in a any container, then salt bridge is not required. But you are taking separate separate, then salt bridge is required. Then now salt bridge is also there. Then now what will you observe that uh, in volt meter now it is showing some volt. means it has produced some volt or if you have introduced ammeter then it will show now indicator that it is current it is producing indicator will show ammeter indicator will show current is producing correct and direction of indicator will show direction of flow of current okay then now uh after uh, joining all the thing connecting all the things uh, and suppose now it is working now cell is working means reaction is going on if you will touch now this uh, both uh, beaker you touch both container where znso4 or copper sulfate you have taken separate separate now you touch suppose you are taking in beaker only correct now you touch both beaker what you will observe no no heat no heat is there no heat is produced but reaction is going on but heat is not there it is just like a normal temperature what was in beginning after the reaction also same things then what happened to the heat what happened to the heat why now heat is uh, it is not producing heat what happened this is very very important question then now i am telling the answer uh, explanation i will tell you here actually heat produced actually here also heat produces but you are not experiencing why because that heat is converted into electrical energy that heat through chemical reaction chemical reaction produces heat now that heat now converted to electrical energy that's why current is flowing or voltage it is producing volt potential correct then uh, here i wanted to tell you i have given example now you will you can easily you can understand that heat converts into electrical energy means chemical energy chemical energy that converted to electrical energy correct here this i wanted to tell you chemical energy converts to electrical energy 
okay after that what happens already you know here uh, how reaction took place zn in zn is over copper in copper sulfate i told you it will not react separate separate but now it is reacting why because here uh, there is a role of salt bridge because now all solutions are in contact all solutions are in contact hence j opposite way it will react zn and copper sulfate means uh, diagonal you can tell zn and copper sulfate that reaction will take place or copper in zn so for like that way cross can take place but zn and copper sulfate will take place easily then uh, because of salt bridge both solutions are in contact then now uh, that is the reason zn is reacting with copper sulfate and, and uh, opposite copper in zn so for then this reaction is taking place diagonally because now all solutions are in contact then now what type of reaction takes place that i am going to tell you actually that uh, zinc electrode zn zn uh, when you have dissolved in the zn so for solution if all things are in connection like this way only then this things will happen then actually zn dissolves zn dissolves in solution and it form actually zn plus copper sulfate it will form zn so4 plus copper the zn so4 means what zn plus 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 so4 to minus correct that is it will in the form of zn ion then now here electrode zn electrode will oxidize means zn will convert to zn ion zn 2 plus plus 2 electron it will release correct this reaction is called half cell reaction or anodic reaction reaction at anode that is the oxidation loss of electron is oxidation then this is called uh, half cell reaction oxidation reaction is called half cell zn is converting into zn plus 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 2 electron now this two electron where it will go this is the question then now you know that oxidation and react reduction takes place together it is not like that first oxidizes oxidation will take place and then reduction will take place it is not like that both takes place both reaction takes place simultaneously together it is just like uh, you are giving someone someone is suppose you are giving money to other person then you will give money when other persons are ready to take correct both are in the presence then like that way that zn will lose the electron only when copper will be there when copper ion will be there because copper sulfate is in the in the form of cu plus plus so4 minus minus copper sulfate that that copper ion is ready to take that electron due to the copper ion cupric ion you can tell this zn is losing electron if cupric ion is not there then it will not lose the electron zn ion will not lose the electron if cupric ion is not there due to the cupric ion cupric ion it wants a wants electron that's why zn is losing losing electron correct then this two electron will be taken by copper ion cupric ion what you can tell it is of two types cuprous and cupric cu1 plus is called cuprous cu2 plus is called cupric then here cu2 plus that will take that two electron coming from the zn then cu2 plus plus two electron that electron it will take and it will convert to copper metal this is a reduction gain of electron is called reduction this is again called half cell reaction half cell reaction half cell reduction reaction and first one was half cell oxidation reaction then now oxidation reaction is also going on 
and uh, reduction reaction is also going on. Hence, this is called a redox reaction. Redox, R-E-D, red, red means reduction, O-X means oxidation. Reduc redox, that is called a redox reaction. Correct? Then, if you will add both half cell, if you will add both half cell, means uh, oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. Half cell oxidation, half cell reduction, if you will add both equation, then what will happen? Right side oxidas, uh, oxidation time it release two electron that is the right side and that electron is now coming Cu plus plus left side that uh, two electron it is taking. Then if you will add both then both electron will be cancelled. Okay. Then what will be remaining? You have to add both equation. Then Zn, Zn left side Zn plus Cu plus plus and after the right side what you will get then you will get there Zn plus 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 copper Cu solid or metal you can tell metal this is the balanced equation correct left side Zn plus Cu plus plus and right side what is remaining then Zn plus 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 Cu metal oxidized that is called reduced it is called reduced Zn became Zn plus plus that is called reduced oxidized state oxidized Zn converted to Zn plus plus that is called oxidized because it lost the electron and cupric ion now it became copper ion left side cupric ion right side copper means it has taken electron two electron that's why it converted to uh, this copper in equation you can't see okay in equation it is not appearing both side cancelled but it happened like that cupric ion converted to copper and Zn converted to Zn plus plus the left hand side of the equation you got Zn plus Cu plus plus cupric ion and uh, right side what you got then Zn plus 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 copper this is called a net cell reaction. Net cell reaction. Okay. Easily you can understand in, a, in this equation you will find everywhere. Okay. You try to understand even in your book also you will find all the things. Uh, here explanation I am telling you. Then now we understood what is the half cell reaction. Again one more thing that uh, uh, this uh, uh, reduction reaction is considered as according to IUPAC reduction reaction has been considered as a standard a standard okay so if results come even you will consider the oxidation reaction also same result you will get only sign will be different opposite sign but according to IUPAC now you think only Actually, few countries are not obeying IUPAC rule regulation, few country. But most of the countries, including India, they follow IUPAC rule. Then always a standard means a reduction reaction. Okay. Then here reduction reaction is Cu plus 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 two electron. It is converting into copper metal. This is a reduction reaction, a reduction. Or in general way, reduction reaction you can write M N plus. M means metal, capital M, N plus, a small N plus, plus two electron or N, you don't know how many electron, N electron you can tell, N E, a small N and a small E, N E, then M power N plus, plus N E, that is the reduction, N you don't know, N is maybe one, N maybe two, three number of electron you don't know uh, how many uh, which metal you have taken or how many electron it will accept because many metals uh, silver will accept only one electron copper will accept two electron aluminium will accept three electron hence you don't know that's why in in a small n you are using for number of electron 
then m power n power n okay n plus n not uh, only you write n n e n e you don't know how many electrons okay n e plus and uh, this um, after that n e number of electron n plus m uh, capital m upside you have written n n plus n plus plus n e n plus plus n e it will give m m capital m metal correct then uh, here that uh, after taking n electron because there n positive charge was there you don't know how many well, what is the valency of metal but now consider n plus m n plus plus n e it is converting metal this is in general way it is considered like that way and uh, one more thing you have to understand already i told you that uh, this uh, e cell is equal to e r minus e l e r minus e l means right hand side electrode minus left hand side electrode means uh, potential of right hand electrode minus potential of left hand, left hand electrode that difference is e cell e cell is equal to e r minus e l then three things i have told you one more things fourth relation i am telling you four things important always you should remember that uh, free energy you know free energy that is a delta g delta g then one it is related to emf it is related to e emf electromotive force emf minus delta g is equal to nef or nf you can tell minus delta g is equal to a small n f capital f faraday faraday constant nf e capital e capital e means electrode potential electrode potential then this relation is very very important minus delta g is equal to n small n capital f capital e this is very very important relation minus delta g now here again one uh, concept i am telling you uh, you know that when reaction takes place then it produces potential that you know already i discussed if chemical reaction will take place it produces what potential both side anode side also cathode side also then here it is producing potential then here you know, already i discussed that from just like water it will flow from high to low potential high potential to low potential until it becomes equal it will be flowing then uh, uh, one more relation uh, concept i am telling you that uh, to flow the reaction when reaction is continuing when reaction is sim uh, this uh, spontaneously taking place you have not done anything only you have mixed two things and reaction has started correct uh, by your own you have not done anything only you have mixed reaction has started that is called spontaneous and when reaction is not taking place you are heating you are putting catalyst this that uh, just like you can say if uh, uh, if you can say ball you will throw upside then it will go up it will go up and again it will go up to certain height and again slowly and slowly it will come down again on the earth then ball went up how it went then due to your force you have applied the force on the ball that's why it went up and you know that uh, earth will protest earth earth has gravitational force but you have thrown the ball against the gravitational force 
बट ऑन दैट बॉल ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज एक्टिंग बट योर फोर्स वॉज मोर देन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स दैट्स वाई इट वेंट अप बट दैट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स वॉज ऑल्सो एक्टिंग एंड आफ्टर गोइंग सर्टन हाइट नाउ ड्यू टू द इफेक्ट ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स स्लोली एंड स्लोली इट विल कम डाउन करेक्ट देन हेयर यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट कमिंग डाउन फ्रॉम टॉप टू हेयर फ्रॉम इट वॉल वेंट अप एंड अगेन इट केम डाउन देन दैट इज स्पॉन्टेनियस यू हैव नॉट डन ओनली यू हैव थ्रोन देन थ्रोइंग इज नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस थ्रोइंग अप साइड बॉल आफ्टर अप्लाइंग द सम फोर्स दैट इज द नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस एंड कमिंग डाउन बॉल केम बाई यू ओन ओके यू हैव नॉट डन फॉर दैट दैट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स अर्थ एज ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स दैट इज एक्टिंग बट यू हैव नॉट डन दैट इज नेचुरल वे इट केम डाउन कमिंग इज द स्पॉन्टेनियस एंड गोइंग टू द नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस करेक्ट आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ स्पॉन्टेनियस एंड नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस वाटर इज फॉलोइंग फ्रॉम द हिल फ्रॉम द हिल टू डाउन फ्रॉम हिल टू डाउन वाटर इज फ्लोइंग कमिंग डाउन दैट इज द स्पॉन्टेनियस बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक वाटर फ्रॉम ग्राउंड लेवल टू सिक्स फ्लोर ग्राउंड फ्लोर टू द सिक्स फ्लोर अप देन मोटर इज रिक्वायर्ड pipe is required then it can go extra things you are doing then this is non spontaneous if any popular leader will come then all person will go by them by themselves to listen to that person like atal bihari vajpayee when he was going anywhere people were coming by his own to listen him that is spontaneous but now a day you know that pe मिनिस्टर विल गिव मनी मनी दे विल गिव फूड दे विल गिव है दे विल हंड्रेड हंड्रेड टाइम दे विल टेल यू कम कम देन जस्ट फॉर ईटिंग द फूड पू पर्सन विल गो एंड जस्ट मेक अ क्राउड आफ्टर ईटिंग दे विल कम बैक देन दिस इज नॉन एस्पॉन्टेनियस गिविंग मनी फूड रिक्वेस्टिंग मेनी टाइम्स दिस इज ए नॉन एस्पॉन्टेनियस i think now you understood the meaning of spontaneous and non spontaneous reversible and irreversible again here i want to tell you uh, equilibrium position you know rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of backward reaction then that is a reversible reaction forward backward this happens only in case of dynamic equilibrium dynamic name itself is a dynamic in motion coming and again coming and coming back going and coming back going and coming at the same rate you can't feel that water is going and coming you can't see but water is flowing water is going but you can't see at equilibrium position that going and coming you can't see by uh, observation then but in a, it is a reversible reaction this is called equilibrium position reaction is reversible name itself is there re reversible but irreversible that is also called a unidirectional unidirectional in one direction only then irreversible reaction is only in one direction correct irreversible that is also called unidirectional only only in one direction that is one direction one direction only it is coming just like uh, from uh, top uh, from hill area to down water is coming one side down oh, by one it is not going up only coming down just like just like you can say this is spontaneous okay then i have told these things that uh, delta g minus delta g is equal to minus delta g is equal to n e f a small n number of electron f means f means uh, faraday's factor faraday's faraday constant roughly 96500 actually it is a 487 something that there okay then uh, exactly 487 
They are roughly written 596,500 coulomb or charge you can tell. Then this is the one relation I told you. E N F E E means electrode potential. Then if you are talking about a standard, then zero a script you have to write. Subscript zero. <coughs> yeah, delta my suppose you are writing minus delta G and one zero upside that is a standard okay like that way e if you're writing one zero that is a standard a standard a standard meaning means that temperature should be a standard temperature a standard pressure m should be also one molar okay one molar okay one m that time how much uh, you can say potential is potential it is developing that is the e zero that is a standard electrode potential at a standard condition at a standard that is called a standard value of, of any things a standard free energy a standard potential a standard uh, entropy any things you can tell a standard h enthalpy then this i have told you meaning of that but if you are not maintaining the standard any concentration any temperature correct but atmospheric pressure will automatically one atm every time Okay, approximately fixed. Then that time only E you can write. Only E when uh, you are not maintaining the standard. Then any time only electrode potential you can tell E. Correct? Or you can tell any time only E cell. E cell. You have to not put the subscript zero. Okay. Then this I have told you. Now I was again uh, uh, this... Uh, Two things uh, I wanted to tell you before coming to the next equation because all things you will use it. Then here, uh, E value, standard electrode potential or E value you can tell to for the spontaneous reaction, E value must be positive, must be positive. As for example, Zn and copper. From the Zn, electron is flowing to the copper then now its value will be uh, that is the actually this thing so 1.1 volt 1.10 volt 104 1.104 this is the exact 1.104 volt then you should mention always a plus a sign or minus sign okay when you will not write then okay we will understand you have not written minus it means plus only but you should make habit to write plus plus also you write zero also you write negative also you write then for a spontaneous reaction e must be positive e must be positive maybe plus plus one 1.0 volt plus 2.0 volt plus 3.0 volt plus 1.5 volt it means if plus value is there, plus maybe plus 0 0.05, plus 0 0.01, whatever your plus is there, it means that is a reaction is spontaneous. Okay, reaction is spontaneous. And if it is a non spontaneous, then value will be reverse. E value will be negative for non spontaneous. Forget that. First, that is a reverse uh, that you know. Then uh, remember, E must be positive value for a spontaneous reaction. One only you remember as for the spontaneous plus value. Okay, obviously non-spontaneous means negative value. And other things, important relation, important concept. That is the if uh, if value is positive. If E value is positive means spontaneous, then for the spontaneous reaction, delta G must be negative. Change in free energy, delta G must be negative. Keep in mind, delta G value must be negative for a spontaneous reaction. For a spontaneous reaction, E should be positive and delta G must be negative. If this question is asked and it will help you in solving many numericals very very important points i have discussed previous classes when i started that time 
eleventh. That time I discussed in details. Okay. Then now I am telling you derivation of Nernst equation. N E R N S T Nernst equation. Nernst not Nernst equation. Then now here, here uh, two things you have to derive. Actually, in your uh, generally in twelfth they will show only E cell value. E cell expression they are giving E cell then E cell means you are knowing E R minus E L directly they are deriving this expression but actually you should uh, understand how you will get E R value or E L value then only E R value or E L value that is called single electrode potential remember it single electrode potential and already i have discussed that on each electrode separate separate that uh, electrical you can say this the dub, uh, double um, charge will be there electrical double layer one layer will be a positive other layer will be a negative and that will be in equilibrium and that's why potential it is creating z and side also means the north side also it is creating potential electrical double layer and uh, cathode side means copper side also electrical double layer there minus 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 and justly only there it will be plus 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 correct on the anode side and this side plus 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 because that is a plus anode is negatively charged and uh, positive will come and this side cathode is positively charged and so negative electron will come there will be equilibrium then that's why this is also creating potential both are creating potential then anode also creating potential and uh, cathode also creating potential then here how will you get the we can say derive the electrode potential single electrode potential how will you determine how will you get expression that you, i am telling you extra things you will not get in your book okay they are directly e cell you will get e cell but now i will tell you single electrode potential okay single electrode potential how will you get now i am telling you it is actually derivation this is also question is asked question is asked okay and uh, in competition you will use this concept to solve the electrode potential of single electrode or is that also called origin of electrode origin of electrode potential then what i discuss electrical double layer that is the origin of a electrode potential how you are getting the potential then that is the origin as a starting point correct then now this the derivation i am telling you now that how will you derive uh, this uh, single electrode potential if you are knowing uh, this this potential expression then e cell easily you can calculate Because E cell is equal to E R minus E L only. So only simply you have to put the both value and after that simplification. Then that is the main thing, sir. Single electrode potential expression derivation. Then uh, I am telling you quickly. You will understand. Okay, just listen carefully. Here one expression you will use in thermodynamics. One popular expression is there. Minus delta G is equal to minus standard G minus R T L N Q capital R capital T L N natural logarithm L N Q capital Q. This you remember very very important relationship I have told you minus delta G. Is equal to minus delta G a standard. That is the difference. Minus delta G ordinary. 
दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल्टा जी स्टैंडर माइनस आर टी एल एन क्यू दिस इज वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर रिलेशन थर्मोडाइनमिक रिलेशन एंड हेयर ऑल थिंग्स यू आर नोइंग जी 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 मीन्स गिफ्ट एनर्जी गिफ्ट फ्री एनर्जी जी मीन्स गिफ्ट गिफ्ट इज अ नेम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट गिफ्ट फ्री एनर्जी ओके आर मीन्स गैस कॉन्स्टेंट यूनिवर्सल गैस कॉन्स्टेंट टी मीन्स टेम्परेचर एल एन मीन्स नेचुरल लगारिथम क्यू मीन्स कोसेंट क्यू यू ओ टी ई एन टी कोसेंट ओके शॉर्टकट क्यू यू आर राइटिंग क्यू आर ई वी मीन्स रिवर्सबल बिकॉज दिस इज फॉर रिवर्सबल रिएक्शन दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल्सो रिटर्न लाइक क्यू डाउन आर ई वी रिवर्सबल देन नाउ ओनली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड क्यू बिकॉज ऑल रिएक्शन यू विल ड्राइव ओनली एट एक्लिब्रियम ओनली एट एक्लिब्रियम यू विल ड्राइव द इक्वेशन देन नाउ delta minus delta g is equal to minus delta g standard minus r t ln q all are in minus three terms are there all three terms are minus you don't apply here mathematics i am telling you because only myself has given zero marks for many a student who have written delta g is equal to uh, Again, delta G. All they have written in plus. Delta G is equal to delta G standard plus R T L N Q. Mathematically, you can argue that all minus will be cancelled, and you are right. Mathematically, it is correct, but from the chemistry point of view, it is wrong, hundred percent wrong. That's why I given to many a student is zero. They applied mathematics here. Mathematics is different. Chemistry is different. <clears throat> then here you should start with minus correct don't write plus 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 3 plus minus 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 only then uh, if you are knowing this relation then what you have to do and why you are not writing why you are not writing plus that also now you can understand very easily then now already i have discussed That minus delta G is equal to N E F. That relation already I have told you. Delta minus delta G is equal to N E or N F E. A small n capital F capital E. Correct. Then that value now you write minus delta G in the place of minus delta G. You write N F E. And uh, minus delta G standard, then they are also right. N F E, but here E standard you right. E standard, correct? E standard, and after that minus R T L N Q, L N Q. Just leave it as it is. Minus L N Q, but here what is this quotient? Q means what? Then Q means very easily we will understand. Many times I told, this is just like a K K value dissociation constant K. Suppose A plus B equal to C plus D means A plus B is giving C plus D. Then what is the K value? K then. C concentration of C into concentration of D divided by concentration of A into concentration of B. This ratio means uh, ratio of products, products divided by concentration, product by con uh, reactant, products uh, by concentration of reactant. Correct product of concentrations and of product side divided by Product of product of concentration of reactant side that you know K is equal to K is equal to means C into D molar concentration of C into molar con concentration of D divided by molar concentration of A into molar concentration of B B then this is equal to K that K actually 
when it is at equilibrium position you can tell q also q means q is equal to that things product divided by reactant simple way p by r for remember purpose then now uh, you have you can say in the place of delta g you have written n f e correct left side right side also you have written n f e and after that third term is in minus only minus r t l n q correct and uh, now what you have to do uh, you divide uh, you divide all terms by n f by n f you divide all terms all three terms then left side you are dividing by n f right side also you are dividing by two terms are there n f and uh, r t l n q that also divided by uh, this n f then what will happen n f n f will cancel only e will remain left side only e will remain right side there also n f n f will cancel e s standard will remain minus r t n f n f that you can't cancel r t n f divided by n f r t divided by n f l n q leave it like this this is now you have derived your work is over electrode single electrode potential main things you have done this is only things means e is equal to e s standard minus r t ln q this is actually a single electrode potential main expression of a single electrode potential then now see here now you got the value in the e you got in the term of positive e value only e means what plus e e a standard also writing that is also plus then now this is for a spontaneous reaction this expression is for a spontaneous if you write positive 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 in the beginning then that you will get all the things in a negative term correct all minus e minus e will get then that is for non spontaneous useless useless that's why there you are talking about spontaneous reaction that's why you have used uh, uh, this things a uh, positive term positive value of e means spontaneous you are interested with spontaneous then this reaction before deriving you write above before deriving first you write the one uh, reduction reaction general reduction reaction you can write in general way m n plus m capital m power n plus plus n e cos gain of electron m will take the electron n e equal to equal to sign you don't write you write a reversible sign like that way or arrow sign arrow sign it is giving c uh, you will get m in general you will get m m n plus plus n e that is equal to m metal high metal solid you will get then this reaction you must write before starting derivation because q value you have to write q value then product divided by reactant then product is m capital m and uh, reactant is m n plus molar concentration of m capital m in bracket you can write in big bracket uh, m that is a big bracket in molar concentration you are talking about molar concentration then m you have written capital m in bracket means molar concentration of m divided by molar concentration of m n plus in bracket molar concentration of m n plus means reactant down you have to write then q value you have written third step you can write in the place of q third step uh, first second third step in the all thing write e is equal to e not minus r t divided by n f and into ln in the place of q you can write like this only 
m molar concentration of m divided by molar concentration of metal ion maybe as for example copper reduction reaction you can write for the copper then copper is converting into copper metal hence you can write particular case i am talking copper upside down copper cu plus plus copper ion you can write then copper ion in solution they will have some concentration 0.1 m 0.05 or 0.175 some value it will have correct that's why it is written molar concentration okay in general we have written m n plus and upside m solid metal metal solid now here uh, this things uh, you have actually derived the expression i made you very easy it is a very long derived but shortcut way i have told you just to understanding purpose but here again one more change you can make it these things are mathematical but now the what i am telling now that is the mathematical now you got e is equal to e not e is equal to e not minus rt divided by nf into ln q in the place of q you have written m divided by mn plus metal ion now here what you have to make change means the fourth step eh, that you put the value of r and t and f this value is constant you know r value is 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole that is fixed r value <coughs> and uh, this t value you can write at a 25 degree 273 plus 25 298 you can write then uh, you will get <coughs> you will get uh, this uh, <coughs> you will get 8.314 into into t 298 273 plus 25 298 and down n you don't know n is not fixed maybe 1 maybe 2 maybe 3 then leave it n only there if you know 96500 you can write 487 also you can write no problem but exact way uh, this you write in general way 96500 f if you will solve it this is mathematics you know if you will solve it upside you will multiply down you divide by this uh, r and t value divide by 96500 then what you will get you will get 0 0.059 you will get then in the place of that you can write 0.059 for three term two term upside down n n you leave it then now fourth step you got e is equal to e standard minus 0.059 down n after that that will be as it is ln ha uh, one more thing sir ln you can convert 0.059 value will come this ln you convert in log log base 10 then to convert this things you have to multiply with 2.303 you have to multiply there okay means 2.303 into r value into t value divided by f all three upside and down one f if you upside all three you multiply and divide by 96500 then you will get 0.059 okay hence fourth step your result will be e is equal to e not minus 0.059 divided by f uh, divided by n n you don't know and after that you will write log ln converted now in log then log base 10 and q q means product divided by hectant then this is actually uh, after decoration you can tell after simplification you got a final expression e is equal to e not Minus 0.059 divided by f 
is divided by n n and log base 10 products divided by reactants okay products l and q in the place of q you will write whatever reaction you have written as your example you have written uh, copper this reduction reaction cu plus 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 2e plus 2e that is equal to copper then copper is going upside copper metal divided by down you will write cu plus plus in the, and in this reaction n is equal to 2 2 electron is there 2 electron then n is equal to 2 in the place of n you can write a 2 then that depends upon the reaction what in question if they will ask then they will give re a special reaction they will give but in general i have told you one more things uh, this i want to tell you already i discussed uh, in the beginning only that uh, metal concentration if metal is in the pure state it will be m is equal to 1 concentration if in the reaction side product now generally after the reaction they are converting into the metal form then for that its concentration is considered as 1 not only for solid it is for uh, this also solid plus gas like any gas if it is becoming a H2 gas N2 gas O2 gas if product is gas then for that also you can write one only because you have to put the value of concentration down value may be 0 0.01 0 0.05 0 0.0 1.5 that is not a problem because the solution if it is there then some concentration will be there but if it is a metal product is metal or gas then for that you should write one then same reaction now we are writing uh, suppose for copper you are writing you have derived for copper suppose then uh, you will write in the place of uh, product and reactant you will write m for the m you should write one value are putting m m is equal to one and divided by suppose some value so copper sulfate solution has some value 0 0.1 value or 0 0.2 value some value then now uh, what you can do that is also mathematics uh, I am telling you uh, it will help you actually now you have written E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.059 divided by N N means he in this case uh, 2 is there in this case copper copper case because copper is taking 2 electron then divided by 2 log 1 upon 0 0.1 suppose you have written 1 met for metal 1 you have written this is the 0 0.1 down if you will reverse it if you will reverse it this term means uh, m you bring down and 0 0.1 uh, 1 you uh, m m divided by uh, this this was there m n plus means as uh, concentration solution concentration if you are bringing upside and metal you are bringing down you are reversing then minus will become plus minus will become plus means expression what you have written e is equal to e naught minus 0 0.05 0 0.059 0 0.059 divided by n okay and uh, this log base 10 m upon m n mn plus was there then if now it is minus but you will reverse it mn plus you write upside and m write down then minus will become plus means before 0 0.059 it will become plus minus was there now it become plus okay point zero then now it become plus 0 0.505 0 0.059 divided by n now it will become it will become only in bracket m n plus a molar concentration of solution m n plus in bracket you can write now m is equal to 1 you know then why will you write a carry on all this reaction m m m m is equal to 1 then down 1 you write or not meaningless 
then uh, in this way also you can write the expression then what i told in the beginning in the minus term you keep in mind because that is a mathematics mathematics you can write in that way also here is no chemistry only mathematics physics chemistry mathematics all will all you will use in physical chemistry name itself is a physical chemistry here physics chemistry mathematics all three for the chemistry physics and math will also come okay to solve the problem all three are useful Chem- uh, mathematics is making connection with physics and chemistry okay and so uh, these three are always always together you can't separate all these three okay then now you have derived the nost equation nost equation actually now this uh, nurse single electrode potential we derived that is the main thing sir now next class i will i will derive e cell e cell you know e cell is equal to e r minus e l it is a easy to tell but little problem we will face because now i told you how to single electrode potential how to uh, you can said derive e l and e r now you are knowing okay but now e cell if you calculate by using this formula you may face some problem then uh, i will discuss next class okay thank you